Welcome to the Greenspring Art Wall community. My name is Jake. I am the virtual voice of one of the technicians who provides support to the Art Wall staff. My master helps put up each new Art Wall display. He is a Greenspring resident, and also an artist. His work has been displayed on the Art Wall on two occasions. Thus, he appreciates the effort you've already spent on your artwork. We appreciate your willingness to share your work with the Greenspring residents. Let me tell you a little bit about the Art Wall. It is located in the lobby of our Hunter's Crossing Community Building. It provides an artistic background to a very busy corridor on our campus. It provides an opportunity for Greenspring artists to display their works to all the residents. We update it every other month. We are all volunteers including the Art Wall Curator who leads the effort. The curator selects the artist featured on the wall, and then leads the rest of us while we do all of the detailed tasks necessary to create an interesting display. If the featured artist were to simply bring the paintings to the wall and say here you are, it would be chaos while we try to fit the painting on the wall as a nice exhibit of the paintings. We try to avoid that. Instead, we work with virtual copies of your paintings on a computer screen. This allows us to arrange your paintings more efficiently and effectively into a pleasant display. We start with digital photos of the paintings. We use the photos, and the dimensions of the paintings to create digital objects in a computer. We adjust the scale of the objects to match the scale of the virtual art wall. We are then able to move the objects, or the paintings, until we get a pleasant layout. Often we make several versions of the layout before we settle on the version we plan to use on hang-up day. One of the critical elements of this process is the accuracy of the dimensions of the actual paintings. The specific purpose of this video clip is to define the information requirements for each painting the artist plans to display. Now let's get down to specifics. First some details about the art wall. This is a virtual view with no objects on it. It is 11 feet wide and 5 feet tall. There are four panels, each 33 inches wide. Each panel has three vertical wires which are used to hang the paintings. These wires can be moved to the right or left within the panel to match the spacing requirements of the virtual layout. Adjustable hooks on the wires can be moved up and down as required. We can put as many hooks as necessary on each wire to hold the paintings. The challenge is to make a pleasant display of your paintings in this space. The information we need from the artist is about two things. Personal information, and details about each painting. This information will be used in three ways. A bio of the artist will be displayed next to the art wall a small card attached to each painting on the wall, and the creation of a virtual wall object for each painting used to lay out the wall. Let's now define the dimensional information we need for each painting. All dimensions should be in inches. Here is a typical painting an artist might display. It is an assembly of various parts. The painting is surrounded by a frame. And it has a wire on the back, this is basic stuff. Let's look at a generic painting. The front looks like this. There is the painting itself. Then there might be a mat, maybe none or maybe more than one. Then there is a frame, but all paintings do not have frames. The artist needs to provide the art wall staff, the maximum width and the maximum height of each painting assembly. Please note, all paintings on the wall must have a wire to hang them. Hang up day is a very busy time at the art wall. The old paintings have been removed and the artist has arranged to bring in the new paintings. There usually is about a dozen of them in boxes, piled against walls or laying on chairs. The staff inventories them and make sure the paintings that were included in the virtual wall layout are the painting that have arrived. Once in a while, an artist, on his own, will add extra or substitute paintings. This causes confusion and an inability to follow the virtual wall plan. This produces a significant amount of frustration, delay, and extra work by all involved. The staff also makes sure every painting has a hanging wire on the back. That wire must be strong enough to support the weight of the painting. The wire shouldn't be anchored too far down on the side of the painting, nor too near the top. This artist always put the anchor three inches down from the top. That seems work okay. By now you are probably thinking, I've agreed to display my artwork. You've just described a lot of stuff about the art wall. What else do you want me to do? What do I still need to provide? Okay. Here's what we need. In order to successfully plan and display your paintings, we still need two main items. Item number one. For each of your paintings, we need Digital photo of the painting Name of the painting Medium used Width in inches and Height in inches We need these as soon as possible so we can plan the layout of your art wall display 
Item number two. This is about you. We need a one page, eight and a half by 11, biographical sketch about you and your artwork. Content of the bios we've seen have varied all over the map. What do you want your viewers to know about you? Almost anything is fair game. This can be delivered in final form on hang up day. But it's a good idea to do it earlier. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to call the art wall curator.